I start, I touch the mat, so I know I'm low. My shoulders even with my knee, that's I'm in a good stance, right? I don't want my legs straight and being bent over, and I want my head up here and expose my legs. So shoulder even with the knee, and I touch the mat, I'm in a good stance. Then I close the gap, and I try to beat them inside. And I have a pretty good technique for that. I just crowd them, I walk into them, and I headbutt them, you know, forehead to forehead. Right? I don't smack them with my head, but I, I touch, I touch them. So I'm here, and I just come here. Usually when you do that, most guys want to make contact with you, and they'll put their hands on you. That's when I beat them inside, okay? So when I go inside, give you guys, my hands are in close, my elbows are in close, I headbutt them, right? I'm coming straight forward to beat them inside. If I try to make contact with the big swing, he's going to beat me inside, right? So as his arm starts coming up, I shoot straight from my shoulder forward and, and get an inside tie. So I'm here, he reaches, boom, I beat him here, right? So now I'm inside, okay? Uh, and a collar tie is really important. Notice where my elbow is. It's pointing down to the mat, right? If I collar tie my elbows up, this isn't going to work very well. I'm not going to be strong and he can get inside me, right? Go ahead and pull him inside. See, he can get inside, now he has inside control, okay? Also, it makes me a lot stronger, right? If you pull out a guy's head this way, you're not very strong. If I'm here and I use my lat to pull him down, I'm really strong. So we want to be stronger and we want to control inside position. So headbutt him, beat him inside, right? That's my first move. Then I'm going to transition my hands. I'm going to take my inside hand down to his arm, bring my other hand up to club him. When I do that, I want to circle, okay? Let's get away from the wall a little bit. Can you guys back up? <coughs> so first technique is a good stance. Close the gap, eat them inside. Now I'm going to go from the head to the arm. And I want to be up high on the arm in the armpit. I don't want to grab down by the elbow, okay? Up. Well, I'm just going to be stronger and have good leverage, okay? So I want to grab up in the armpit. I'm going to club here and I'm going to step to this foot in circle and when I do that I want to pull down on his arm and pull down on his head okay so I step and I circle okay see how he fell to his knee it's a lot of pressure a lot of weight okay when I circle it makes me a lot stronger I get a lot more force on his neck and his arm if I just do this and use my arms it's going to wear me out right because think about it, I'm using my arms against his neck and body and legs. Like that's way bigger, right? That's gonna win. If I just fight with my arms, I'm gonna get really tired and he's not. Right. So I beat him inside, switch to the collar, circle. See how I'm pulling down as I circle, okay? That's what we wanna get first. We wanna get that down and get good at it. One thing people don't do make a it's a small detail but very important when i circle i want to circle into him i don't want to circle sideways guys get here sometimes they take a step sideways to circle and that pulls me away from him and makes me not as strong so when i'm here i want to step to his foot and circle into it see i'm circling into him as i pull i'm pulling down on the arm pulling down on the head okay so let's work that real quick get that down one guy will go, then the other guy goes. 